All right, hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. Sorry about that. A little windy out here today. I also got my top one. I turned off the Jeep. Okay. Uh, anyway, my question is, okay, what do you guys have to lose when it comes to doing more with your life? I came out to the graveyard again today to show you all the dream, all the inventions, all the treasure in the world means nothing unless you live your life each day as in you're not going to be here tomorrow. These brave men and women, some of them died in combat, some of them died in old age. But they earn the freedoms we have today and every day for each and every one of us. Now every time that we do business or every time that we go out to college or we basically, we have to remember every one of our freedoms are designed to work with each other. Freedom of speech, right to bear arms, freedom of assemble, freedom of press, freedom of religion. Okay, so on and so forth. Each one protects the other. We'll just keep it with the first two. You got freedom of speech. If you do not have the right to bear arms, that freedom of speech would then later on be taken away from you with men that are, that are armed. If you didn't have free speech, you couldn't defend the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment defends the First Amendment. Why do I say all this? Because we need to remember where we come from. We need to remember who we are and what we do is important, and who we, what we do matters. Every single day in life, we have to remember what matters the most and what's going on each and every day in our lives. So we've got to live. You haven't lived your greatest day yet. You have not fulfilled your greatest dream. If you are still on this planet today and you think, oh, I've already done everything I'm supposed to do, then you're wrong. Every day you got to go out there, fight harder, do more, be tougher, be bigger. You've got to every day push, push, push. If you think, well, I'm done, I did everything I can do, then you're already joining the men and women in every cemetery in the world. We forget sometimes, we think it's just based on America, what our freedoms are, but we forget men and women have died for millions of years just to have what we have today. Millions of years. When we came to this country years ago in hopes for a better future, we came over here looking for treasure for kings. And what we found was treasures for ourselves within that of freedoms. We may have found tobacco at one point in time, but in the end, we found who we're supposed to be. Free men and women throughout the world becoming the world's beacon of hope. Now what does this have anything to do with you and what I do with motivation and business? It has a lot. Every day you gotta go out there and you gotta earn your spot. You gotta earn who you are. You gotta be better today than who you were yesterday. Tomorrow you're gonna have to one-up yourself from what you were today. Now every day you've noticed that as we get motivated, you know, there's some down times to motivation, meaning yes, it's like everything else. There's a little bit of paperwork. There's a little bit of talking because we have to do it the proper way. We have to learn how to fail. A person that has never failed in their life does not know what true success is and they can't feel it. They can't feel freedom's ring because they don't understand the people that were given a gold and silver spoon in their mouth, people that were given businesses, they don't understand what it took to get that business. They may be learning on how to keep the business. I was watching a video yesterday about a third grader that dropped out. His son was speaking. And he taught that education, wisdom, and knowledge are different things. Because even though he was a dropout, this gentleman's father kept learning every day, kept reading every day, kept making himself every day better, 
even if he didn't want to, so that his kids could have a better future than him. You see, just because you're not good at one area doesn't mean you cannot keep learning, educating yourself, building yourself up better for a better tomorrow. A lot of people think, well, I have nothing to give anybody. Yeah, you do. There are criminals out there that think, I'm a criminal, nobody wants to hear from me. There are people that are poor and in poverty that says, nobody wants to hear from me. There are people out there, and those are the stories that need to be told the most. What caused them to do that? Where are they at now? What are they doing to get better? Then there's the men and women who work in our factories, who are truck drivers, who work on our paint lines, who ever go to work every day wondering if there's anything better than there is. But they need to know they matter. They need to know they are important. We need to quit looking so much at this false narrative that everything the news says is true, every commercial on TV is the absolute truth, and everything you read online has got to be the truth. We've got to start doing things for ourselves again. We need to start using this, followed by this, our head, our brain, over our heart. Each one of us is given a new future every day. You may be down on your luck today, but I tell you what, when you're at rock bottom, you have a solid foundation to build up from. I've been on rock bottom more times than I care to admit. But you want to know something? Each time I knew when I got to rock bottom, I had a solid platform. I had a solid surface because I couldn't go no lower. 